Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rpnt.ca, and today we're going to be talking about the drug nifedipine, also known as Adalat. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Nifedipine belongs to the calcium channel blocker drug classification. Calcium is required during contraction of smooth and cardiac muscle. Nifedipine blocks calcium channels in the vascular smooth muscle and cardiac muscle, preventing calcium from entering the cells. This inhibits the muscle contraction. Inhibiting smooth and cardiac muscle decreases vascular resistance and dilates the coronary arteries. These effects reduce blood pressure and decrease the workload of the heart. Nifedipine is used in the treatment of hypertension and angina. Again, nifedipine lowers blood pressure by relaxing the blood vessels, making it easier for the heart to pump, essentially using less oxygen. Nifedipine is administered orally. Extended release tablets are often given for hypertension, while immediate release tablets are often given for angina. Nifedipine has many side effects, so we'll just cover some of the more important ones. Many of the side effects stem from nifedipine's vasodilation effect. Vasodilation can cause hypotension, which may manifest as dizziness, weakness, headaches, flushing, syncope, which is a loss of consciousness due to low blood pressure, orthostatic hypotension, and more. Nifedipine may also cause dysrhythmias and heart palpitations due to its effect on cardiac muscle. And other side effects include weight gain, edema, dermatitis, and more. Nifedipine is contraindicated in clients with cardiogenic shock. Avoid drinking grapefruit juice with nifedipine as it can increase the drug absorption, resulting in hypotension and changes in heart rate. Use cautiously in clients with low blood pressure, acute myocardial infarction, and clients taking digoxin or other antihypertensive medications. Always remember to assess and monitor for side effects of nifedipine. Monitor blood pressure and heart rate before administration. Typically, if apical heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute, hold the medication and notify the provider. Do not crush extended release tablets. Especially for elderly clients, instruct clients to avoid rapid changes in position, such as changing from sitting to standing, to reduce the risk of orthostatic hypotension and falls. If sublingual nitroglycerin is ordered and available, it is the preferred treatment option for acute angina. Lastly, as with most all antihypertensive medications, it is important not to discontinue nifedipine abruptly and to instead gradually taper the dose according to the provider's instructions to reduce the risk of a hypertensive crisis. And that's about it for the basics of nifedipine. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or visit rpnt.ca for more help.